which I gotta be honest with you. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out. Let me, let me, let me, let me convince you. Hey, Anthony, where'd you get this podcasting stuff from? It fell off the back of a truck. It's the Breaking Bread podcast. You're here with uh, myself, Sal Valentinetti, my pal, uh, Anthony Sharada. What's going on? Amber, Greg Heinrich. And Leo. in between us all, Nicole Pipas. Nicole Greco Pipas. Nicole gotta put Greco the, You got to put the Greek and the Italian in That's there. That's right. You can't forget that she's Sicilian. She yeah. won't let you forget it. I won't. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here with us. All the way from New Jersey. Yeah, it took about an hour to get here. Me too, and I, I only live 20 minutes away, <laughs> but it took me an hour to <laughs> get here. That's New York for you. Yeah, yeah, No, yeah. it's fine. It's a fine establishment over here. It's beautiful. Thank you for having establishment. me. Establishment. I like that. You I like that, that too. I got, I, got a, I, got, I got a nice red wine in a plastic cup. Hold on. Nothing a, like first class right Sal's now. Sal's got a Snapple. I'll tell you how classy Nothing I am. Like I got a, first class. a Snapple. I got a Snapple. It's, it's, uh, it's don't the lemon Don't tell me it's flavor. diet. Oh, I don't want you drinking that diet. So they don't call it diet anymore. They call it zero sugar, yeah. which Marketing. means whatever else they have. Yeah, that's zero aspirin. sugar. <laughs> natural but flavors. Just about every other chemical in yeah, the book. That's it. I love it. Something's got to kill us. Door. As we're holding cigars, Cheers. something's got to kill us. Yeah, I love a good cigar. I brought the nice boys of Macanudo today. We're going to smoke yes. a little Macanudo. We sure are. Have a little La Grada. Not inside, because Anthony has a landlord. Mm. Yeah. Hope she's not watching. <laughs> this is delicious. And that's a true Thank mark. you for the wine. It's awesome. Right, thank you thank for the mark. And for the cigar. Thank you for the wine. Well, I'm Italian. I come prepared. I was going to say, it's a true mark of an Italian. Thank you. You know, you come, you got to knock on the door with your feet. Your hands are so full. That's right. And that's a beautiful thing. I love we that. We appreciate that here. Yeah, there's nothing thank better. Thank you. I mean, I've married a Greek, so, I mean, they're, they're close. How does an Italian girl from New Jersey end up with a Greek? Because typically, you know, the Jersey Italians yeah. are even more hardcore than the New York yeah, Italians. Are. That's very true. And, and our very family, true. and our family's quite tight. They want us to marry Italian. Right. They want to keep that bloodline they want, pure. They, want to keep they the didn't blood. risk it all coming here for nothing. So my last name is Greco, my maiden name, which means Greek. Exactly. Yeah. So, and my mother's Sicilian. Uh, so apparently there's a lot of Greeks that live in Sicily. A ton. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually and Greek. Still... Oh, I told you that. Oh, no, you didn't tell me that. I'm Did you do like your ancestry? Yeah. Oh, that really? Not Mediterranean area. Greek. So the Greco is a popular name. Yes. Albanese is a popular yes, name because Albanians. Yes. Albanians. Yeah. That's right. Uh, yeah, we're all a little eggplant. Who said that? Who said that? I love it. Um... Now that is fantastic. Melanza. We're all and there goes Melanza. the podcast. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. It's all good. And so, cut. <laughs> Only where it counts. No, no. Did you really? I didn't want to be cut. No. Am I going to throw it? What are you, no. crazy? Here, I thought he was cutting on me. No, you're cutting on me. No, so I... I, I Bro down. No, Bro, she was about to kick his ass. Balls out. I never. I, believe. I, would, I would pay you money. I, like, I listen. That Anna, would be great. Lover, not a fighter. That's right. I'm a lover, not a I mean, she's got giant boots on. She could probably do some damage. Yeah, they're fun. Anyway, I go <laughs> on vacation with my Greek girlfriend, and uh, she tells me we're not going to stay in Athens at this Marriott. We're going to stay with this guy, Nick. And I'm like, I'm not staying with some foreign guy. He lives in Greece. Uh, he's American. And we wind up staying with him. And um, Where is Nick yeah. from? He's from Roseland, New Jersey, which oh, is wow. seven right. minutes away from me. So you went all the way to Greece. I went Greece. all the way to Greece, 5,200 miles away. To find a guy from seven minutes away. Yeah. Wow. That sounds like the most Italian thing ever. And then I married yeah. him uh, um, like a year later, and I moved to Greece. And I picked up, and I left, and I lived there for three and a half years. Why was he living in Greece? Insurance. Okay. And he was working for an insurance company. Wow. Yeah. Wait, so you married the guy that you were supposed to stay with in Greece? That's right. That yeah. you didn't want to stay with? I didn't want to stay with him. Wow. Well, I, I thought he was a foreigner, and I'm like, I yeah, no, with that I understand. Guy, you know, no, like offense to all the foreigners out there, but like, you know, a little weird. <laughs> no offense Especially to the foreigners, foreigners, but the Greeks better clean up their act. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought, you know, like, what are you? Are you in? Are you in the 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 uh, shipping business? Are you in the oil? Are right. You? No, he's in insurance. It's kind of boring. Wow. <laughs> it's kind of boring. Well, insurance that takes you to Greece is not very boring. No, he didn't. He had a beautiful house. Yeah, I'm sure. And I think that's why I just wanted to stay there. You were like, you showed up, you said, That's it. This is the palace. I'm the princess. This guy must this, be the prince. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And he's 6'5 and. Adonis. And, yeah, you yeah, said. yeah, yeah. A little bit. And you guys both love working out. 
We both love working out. You told me you're up 5.15 in the morning yes, working out. Yeah, we were just talking about that earlier. 5.15, we get it over early, See, get it done. See, you call 5.15 in the morning. I call that 5.15 at night, mm. you know? How do you, how do you manage that? How you know you- what? Listen, think about it. Uh, you have your whole day ahead of you. Mm-hmm. You get up and you get done with it. Trust me, it's hard. It's cold. It's dark outside. That's why we have the heaters for the car. You got the automatic uh, uh, starter. Auto start. Oh, throw yeah. the auto start. Maybe not the caddy, yeah. but throw the auto start on. Right. And, and and just go and get it over with. You have your whole day ahead. Listen, I used to have to come home, make dinner for the kids, you know, or train people after that. You know, I am a trainer as well. So it's my life. Right. I, I, I live in a gym. I'm sweaty all the time. It's just, it's, I never have makeup on, but I have makeup on today. It's incredible that you're able to manage <laughs> all that. You raised two kids. I did. You're in the gym every day. Mm-hmm. You don't Five miss 15. it. You're a philanthropist. You're an entrepreneur. Yeah. And your husband has a full-time job. Yes. This yeah. is like, this is this seems nearly impossible. Listen, no, women wear many hats, Sal. That's right. Many hats. That's right. I'll drink to them. And many hats. you're a reality TV star. Well, I don't know about that. But. Come on, come on. I've seen you on The Housewives in New Jersey. Yeah. Oh yeah. So oh, I, we all we all have. Yeah. So uh, that's I, pretty. My that's mom's a pretty a big funny. Fan thing. Of yours, is she? Yeah. She goes. She likes the voice. Her. No way. She, she knows me. Yeah. She goes. Oh, you God. know Seven her. Seven episodes. No. I swear to you. Yeah. yeah. She goes. She's on TV. How do you know her? I'm like we like met on Instagram. Yeah. It's crazy how we how with them works. But Listen, she says hi. So funny. I'm sure you'll see her at some point. I love it. So me and Teresa were longtime friends when we were in high school uh, together. We used to club. Uh, I knew her old boyfriend, and when we got into uh, when I got into the gym and started training, she just wind up being on there, being uh, at the gym, started on the show, and I think the third season is when I started training her and was on. And so it's been a whirlwind. I mean, they just filmed their 14th season. Uh, there's highs and lows of all this. I just sit back and watch in the background with a tequila. Right. Sometimes. <laughs> um, sometimes I'm, you'll see me training them. Uh, boxing I've done with Dolores and Jen, which was a lot of fun. But listen, it's drama. And drama right. sells. Sure does. You know? Sure does. And uh, you, listen, they're, they're, they're a fun group. There's nothing like Jersey. Is the drama real? I'm sure you get asked that question all the time. Yeah. But is the drama, like, is it actually drama or like it's... Like, is there a script? Yeah. They script like, all right, you guys are gonna do this today, and you kind of just have at it. Wow. Brawl. No comment. I don't think so. So I did reality TV, yeah. and it, in a much different. Some way. of it, some of it is pretty much. You know what's scripted? Uh, Nicole, run back in and and, and unzip right. her jacket. It's again. produced. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's not that's scripted. It. It's, it's produced. produced. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Which and that's how you make television. You got to make yeah. television. Otherwise, it'd be boring. That's it. You know. True. True. But there, there's a lot of drama in Jersey. The, these girls are out. They're out for. Uh, they're out for the prize. Yeah. Oh yeah. Know? Listen, I've been to the butcher's block, and it's I just fun there, bro. I just sit back and look around, and I'm like, it's boy, oh, this yeah. this looks like a lot of drama. Oh, this yeah. looks like this could be a whole <laughs> scene. Yeah. The butcher's block is a whole scene. It's a. Are whole you there scene? during the I'm summer? Lost. I went. I went during the summer. I went with uh, my friend Anthony Rodia, a great great comedian. Uh, uh, we. We went and it was like this one's here and this one's here and yeah, this guy's here. The outside bar, beautiful. You know that was a butcher. You know he started out as a butcher. Uh, we so he, they walked us through. They showed us beautiful. everything. It is beautiful, but and then the 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 valet in front is like a car show. That's it's it. incredible. New it Jersey is. is like all out. Yeah, that's it. Beverly's. When, when I first started going to Beverly Hills, mm-hmm. right for for you know work and everything, being out in L.A., my my my, my mother's like. Have you ever seen anything like it? I'm like, yeah, I've been to New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and New Jersey kind of has this whole scene about it. But New Jersey's oh, yeah. also, uh, uh, you know, uh, a lot like where I grew up, Long Island. Yes. For, for, for in many ways, because New Jersey's also very hometown feeling, you know. So, there, so I understand how there's almost a comfort in meeting someone. Absolutely, from, from so New Jersey. And by. wherever you go, you always meet somebody from New Jersey. Yeah. From the Disney cruise to uh, Paris, you know, yeah. you, you meet somebody from Jersey. You met someone from Jersey and Paris on your recent trip? Your I recent did girls not, trip? no, I didn't. No? Oh, Sal's knowing about my recent girls trip. Relax there, Sal. Come on, I stay up on the social media with the kids. You got to. 
<laughs> kids. Anthony, with Anthony kids. helps me out. Yeah. Yes, I was just in Paris and it was fantastic. These girls know how to spend money. You went with a big group of girls too. It was yes, it was a friend's fiftieth. Yeah. Oh. Wow. And 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 we also celebrated a little bit of my. I'm turning fifty. Get out of here. In December. What? No. Oh, I was going to say, if you're Bullshit. like 25, how are you Bullshit. hanging out with like a 50-year-old? Greg, do you don't believe me, Greg? No, Greg shot. doesn't yeah. believe it. December 20th, 1973. I'll be 50 this year, and it's, wow, it's, it's hit me. It's hit me a little much, a little, a little, bit, a little bit. You see people but, take care of yourselves. But, but that's it, and that's, that's exactly what I want to hit on. Menudo's in the gym. I was like, you know what? I feel good. I, I'm healthy. Uh, uh, I'm I'm spiritual. I'm I'm the whole nine. So and I like to give back, and the you know. So I feel good. I feel good about myself. You were talking about how these girls love to shop. Yeah. Right. And one could say, well, how how do you how do you keep up with a group like that? But how do they keep up with you? You know. Or, I'm the I'm the fun, bro. You know, I bring the fun. I bring. The, I believe are, that are about yeah. senior about action. your age, and yet, if I may say so, mm -hmm. at the risk of insulting anyone else on this girls' trip. What are you going to say? They're going to go to sleep early? I'm saying you look like, you know, 10 years younger and you're probably yeah. up and about, especially yeah. it's Europe. Everyone's walking. Everyone's exhausted and you're still probably going. Yeah, How we are they on, keeping up we, with you? We were, we were on fumes. It was a lot of champagne. Oh, yeah. A lot of champizzle. Yeah. And champizzle. A lot of champizzle. <laughs> I love it. And a I lot, love lot love of Bordeaux. It. Bordeaux. Yeah. Their red wine there is just delicious. Yeah. It was great. But listen, it was good food, good company. Good booze, good restaurants we were at. Some steak frites. Did you break? I the, did. Uh, I had the steak frites. The steak frites. No, you and can't. you know what? Everybody's like, the, the French don't like the Americans. That's not true. Not I true. had a different experience. You did? I also <laughs> asked for ketchup for my potatoes, and that was a big mistake. What? I did it purposely, no, though. I eat them. You deserve what to get yelled at. You don't eat ketchup that? with French many? fries? Not in France. <laughs> Eddie gone. Man. You're in no. another country. If I'm in Maybe. France, I'm not going to be like, hey... Listen, when you go when you go to like a Mexican place, let's say in like Southern California, so yeah. a legit place close to the border, you go there and you order something. They put everything down on the table that yeah. they think that you should put yeah. on whatever you've ordered. Mm -hmm. If you're in France and they give you French fries, yeah. French fries, and you and they don't put ketchup on the table, guess what? You're not having it. You, you don't have fucking ketchup. You des you deserve to get I yelled at. Believe, I didn't believe that they were going to get mad. Because I, I, I always heard that that's a thing not to like do. And I'm very curious. Mm -hmm. I, wouldn't you, you be curious? Them. And the guy kind of went and just slammed it on the table wow. and walked away. Thank God, Anthony. Thank God you're not like the secretary of uh, state or something like that yeah, going yeah. to talk to these countries. Imagine. Imagine. Catch up with my potatoes, I'd please. I'd like to see Anthony represent our country. Thank you. I Paul. wouldn't mind that. Hey, thanks. Uh, thank you. You want your president uh, to feel it? Yeah, I, I don't. Or Sergio Tacchini. Mike Marino already has that market. <laughs> That's true. Mike Marino's got that. Another, Mike another, Marino's already running for president. New Jersey. I'm with him. Wear, I don't know. Do you ever wear jeans? Or no? You yeah, just, yeah. You do wear yeah, jeans. Yeah, no, I just wore this because I thought it was fitting with the. Podcast. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's, I don't it's really perfect. Wear jeans anymore. I've never mind. worn jeans. Yeah, yeah. No. I, I only if it's a one piece. Well, this is this is this is some number. No. It truly is. Oh, thank you, thank you, Sal. That's a getup. I like it. Thanks, Sal. Listen, thanks, Ann. I'm not a jean wear. Great outfit and a great sense. Speaking of France, the 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 baccarat in the air. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you. I thought you said something yeah. else. <laughs> you you thought it was good. Yes, yeah, I did. I got it. I was like Sal. <laughs> Love, oh, but poor baccarat is in the air, Anthony. France is a weird you place. You also that? ordered ketchup and potatoes. Listen, yeah. You ever walk down the wrong block in France? If you go down like a wrong block, it gets weird fast. I mean, for you and listen, for we're New Yorkers, New Jersey, right. New York, same. We walk when we want to walk. That's right. We, walk we just go to like the weird part where like they have all the shops and everything, and the people outside and the stuff in the windows. It gets weird. I'm yeah. telling you, it gets weird fast. Yeah. Well, gets what parts are you going? <laughs> Bro, Anthony. it's like bro, it's like Fifth Avenue. It's like right, Madison Ave. Yeah. Yeah. That's Anthony it. Just needs to go out and get cultured. Yeah. Fair get enough. Get cultured. Anthony. I think she yeah. said. Bro. Do you speak any French? I think she said bro in one sense more than I've said in my whole life. Oh, I don't speak any French. Bro. So the only thing I I went to. Chante, bro. I went. Oh, Chante. Okay. I had a, I, I had an experience somewhere between Anthony's and yours. Mm -hmm. When I went to France, I learned one thing. Excusez-moi. Yes. Je ne parle pas français. Yeah. Would Perfect. You, excuse me. I don't, I don't speak, speak French. French. I like Greg in the uh, back. Bro. All you hear is this sound in the back, oh, bro. bro. It's from the shadows, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part about it. Greg is, you can't see this, Come but Greg is surrounded by lights. So he's basically yeah. just in a shadow 
chiming in from now on. I, I see his Sergio Tacchini sweatsuit. Down it's, a, it's, a pre, it's a pretty big shadow. <laughs> it looks hot, Greg. You look hot. He does. Always, Greg, always. Greg's in a track. Greg's gun. turning red. I'll say that on camera. Greg's turning red. No, he's not. Is I he? mean, if, if you want to propose how? right now, I'll, I'll take it, Sal. How Where's did the you, rank? Did you, or did you Again. maintain your workout schedule in France? That's an excellent question, Sal. Good. It is. I did. I brought my roommate with me. She had no choice to go down to the hotel gym, and we did a quick workout, 10 rounds, three movements. You know, I like to do it quick. And, um, and then I got up Sunday. I was going to CrossFit because I like to go to all CrossFits whenever I travel. To different countries, so we. So you found think. the CrossFit in Paris. Of course, it was five minutes away. And I Do they call it something up. different? CrossFit Louvre. CrossFit. Oh, cr it was the CrossFit, CrossFit at the Louvre. No, well, it was by the Louvre. Sure. So it's CrossFit <laughs> Louvre. Crowfeet. And uh, Crowfeet. <laughs> so um, I woke up. I was so excited to go on Sunday morning, uh, and I looked at the workout, and it was handstand push-ups and handstand walks. We're in it. And I'm like, bro, what I don't think... What gym are you going to? <laughs> well, that's what we do this in CrossFit. CrossFit. Okay, this we do it. a lot of gymnastics. Just handstands. A lot of Olympic movements. So I'm like, I, I just got in at about 3.30. I had maybe about five bottles. I don't think I want to go <laughs> upside down. Wow. I don't think I'm going to go upside down today, so I'm this not going. This could be trouble, yeah. I'm not going. So when I came home, my husband Nick was like, did you get me my shirt? Did you go to CrossFit? And I was like, no, I didn't make it. He's like, you didn't? So stunned. No, I didn't. It was handstand. Handstand push-ups, handstand walks. It wasn't that day for me. I didn't feel like doing it. The fact that so you it didn't happen in France and went to the hotel gym at all. Yeah, no, like, you got it. You got it. You got it. The you first thing I would be thinking about waking up in France is how do I get a croissant? You, you know, yeah, I was yeah. just and, about and to it say. is. That's the second question I said to myself and, and, and did. But you got to think about something. Well, you worked for it. I, it's not even that. This is my job. My life is in a gym. I train people. I teach group. I don't want to listen to anybody. I don't have to listen to anybody today. So this is my vacation. To go work out by myself and not have to listen or coach anybody, it's, it's amazing. It's beautiful. Do you know we're like therapists? I mean, we hear everything. Oh, yeah. We know everything going on. I believe yeah. it. My, my trainer knows everything about me. Everything about me. Everything about me. Worst thing, your your hairdresser. That's why I protect that man. I don't know your hairdresser. My barber too. Your barber came in hot today. You looked you look fantastic today. Thank you very much. This and is that, half done too. I got to go back in the morning. Let him finish. So I have a serious question, Nicole. Oh, good. I love that you smoke cigars. I'm yeah. just curious about the story behind it. Like, how did you get into it? Like, I love that when you invited me to that uh, charity event. Yes. That you were you were kind of walking around like a don. What a cigar. And I had a, I had a fantastic... Up and around the whole party. I had a fantastic dress on. Yeah. I do, a, I do a you Kentucky... Thank you. you I appreciate stunning. that. Kentucky Derby. I do a Kentucky Derby party every year, and it's like the biggest in Essex County. Talking about instilling values into your children, you're a philanthropist. Yeah, thank you. You hold yeah. this party to raise... To raise money for, for, for my hung, town, yeah. For hungry people in, in your town. Uh, yes, it's called Friends of the Well. Well meaning Caldwell, North Caldwell, West Caldwell. It's the... It's the towns in uh, Essex County. Where The Sopranos was filmed, right? That was in the Caldwell. It was in North so, Caldwell. Yeah. You just went to the house. Yeah. 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 Wait, but uh, how did you end up? So, yeah. so what happened was I was doing uh, a program called 75 Hard mm -hmm. that I do every year. And I can't drink and I can't, I can't eat bad shit. So I decided I'm just going to have a cigar instead. And I felt like I was. A balanced meal. <laughs> That's great. You felt like a Don. Did you did you hear what Greg said? He's now he's poking fun at me. What would he say? A balanced meal. Sal, take care of him. I don't stick to your vapes, kid. Nicole, I would, but I don't know how to turn the camera. Sal, down. take care of this guy. Listen here, I'll come for all of you right now. Come here, Greg. Do it. Come here. Do it. Come here. Do it. The Godfather. Hello, Paul. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was you, Fredo. So that's so, it. So, so you started smoking cigars because And you, you know what? Listen, I shouldn't be saying that, but I'm a trainer, but everybody has their vice. Do I do it often? Uh, maybe once a month I'll have a nice cigar. No, but it's it's something to take the edge off because yes. you're not doing these things. Yes. 75 yeah. Hard doesn't say you can't have a cigar. No, it doesn't. So there you go. Wait, does it, doesn't, it say right? no smoking? Yeah. No. That's well, well it's yeah. it's part of So so two two things were just said here, yeah. right? With this with this story. Number one, we, we were talking about your dedication mm -hmm. uh, to, 
to your your own self care. You know, you're going to the gym in on a girl's trip to France. Yeah. Right. And your the values you're instilling in your children mm -hmm. with this with this charity event. I want to know more about how you got into philanthropy. And furthermore, you know, we're talking about Cal the Caldwells in New York. That's Jersey, right. Right? You've everyone's seen the Sopranos house. That's right. This is no, you know, Levitt house. This is no ranch. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful house in a yeah. beautiful area. Yeah. So it must have come as a shock to people, uh, including yourself. But you had neighbors who were facing food food insecurity. Absolutely. What well, what it is is it you don't. You want to live in your own little box. You see what you want to see, and um, we knew we had to do something else. We have a lot. We can do some more. Why not reach out? It's right here in our own town. It's not like we're going down, and we do. You know, to the the the, the Newark and the other little the, the poor towns in in Essex County, and they do a lot for them. But this is hitting home, and why not? We give a lot, we do a lot, we have some extra things. Why not show our children this? You know, they live through values. And, and, and one of the things I like to say is, is you know, th this is what makes me happy. As a mother, as a wife, um, uh, as, as a daughter, you know, I want to show my children that I can be all of that. Wow. I can be all of it. Very you know? Well, said. well, thanks, Ann. Very well said. So this this derby event is is your it, it it's myself and and my partner. Uh -huh. uh, we created Friends of the Well, uh, like I said, the charity event in um, and we do do two events a year. We raise money to give back um, uh, for the town, and it's been working out fantastic. It's great. Where can people? So we have a new one coming up. Okay. It's in January, January fourteenth. It's at the High Lawn. You were at the High Lawn. It's my Great very place. good. It's Great a gorgeous place. restaurant. It overlooks New York. It's beautiful. Uh, it's a very good friend that owns it. Uh, it's it's a it's a beautiful place. The f food's fantastic, and he takes care of us. He lives in our town as well, and he helps us a lot out uh, for that. But I can, I can put that up on on the invitation for that. You have a website. I do. And it's the friendsofthewell.com. Friendsofthewell.com. Yeah. That's awesome. I encourage everyone to get involved. Yeah, absolutely. Sal, you're the best. Well, so I want you to come. I want you and BG to come before G. G? No. G. Gianna will definitely come. I love that. She loves it. it, it look, I, as long as you're not doing your 75 hard and you'll share a glass no, of wine course, with us. No, of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, were, we were discussing, like, almost like how, like, who... Who is Nicole Greco Pipas? Is she uh, is she Superwoman? Well, besides, right? Wow. She, she really is Superwoman. Greg. Almost Superwoman. I couldn't have put it better myself. Greg, Greg wants to do like a push-up contest, I think, or something. What do you want to do, Greg? Uh, push-up contest. I can do a lot of push-ups. Well, we Greg, go. I'll pay. Greg would. Greg would lose, and not. Should we put some? Should we put some scratch on that? You know should what? We, should I'll we put a little what? scratch? That's how we're gonna. That's how we're gonna wrap this episode. <laughs> we're gonna do push-ups. We're gonna throw down. I'm gonna. We're gonna throw against, down. I'm gonna bet against Greg because I'm a smart man, and uh, I usually lose. No, I. I you bastard. You know, that'd be good. Push-ups would be great. Do you think? It. Do you, so. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll work this out for sure. <laughs> but I couldn't have put it better than Greg that you are Superwoman because it's you're not just uh, a mother. Uh, a wife. You're not just a, uh, a fitness coach, mm -hmm. a life coach. You're not just a philanthropist, but you're an entrepreneur. I just started. So we have with us Bro. These, these beautiful t-shirts of your company. Okay, I'm going to get Bro, them. if you don't... Hey, knock me out. Johnson and <laughs> Greg, is it possible that at the bottom of the screen we could have a bro count go through the... Absolutely. We need a bro count. Bro. So we'll take your little logo. What's we'll a bro put, count? So what we'll do is the amount of time. Every single we'll time someone little, says we'll bro, we'll spill your little thing. logo. Yeah. We'll put it at the bottom, and then we'll we'll just. I got a Shopify store. Every time someone says bro. Oh, I like that. Bro. It'll we'll have a little counter, and then we'll check in at it's the. It's a end. bird. It's a plane, bro. We'll check in at the end of the episode, and I'll tell you what. Uh, no, we can't. We're not live. We can't. We can't really like sure. have anyone guess live and, you know, give something away. But. We've been given these beautiful T-shirts. Tell us more about Bro. It's your your hydration company. 
you you're on the front lines. Yeah. Right. You see what's going on in the gym. Mm-hmm. You see what's going on at CrossFit. You see people are not hydrating properly. There's mm-hmm. a lot of crap out there. Yeah. With a whole bunch of mess of stuff in it. We were talking about my my Snapple earlier and how although it has zero sugar, uh, aspartame. <coughs> It's natural flavors, chemicals and crap. Natural flavors, other flavors. What naturals? Chendon. Uh, Chendon. Uh, we're, you know, we're, we're talking about all this, all this Spirulina. crap that's in the drinks today. Spirulina. So you're developing your own thing. You're like, well, yeah. if I can't get it, I'm gonna make it. And yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bring it to the masses. So I'll tell you, Sal, how bro started. No one. Bro. No. Ding. Bro. Yeah. Ding ding. So listen, I didn't make up. I, I I've been calling people bro forever. Yeah. We've all used that word of expression for a brother, for a friend. It for, is a real for Jersey a colleague. Thing, what? For as much as how you. Oh, do you think it, it is? Well, look at uh, your friend Jamie uh, Jovitzano. Is that? How yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamie uh, from Eat Clean Bro. Eat Clean Bro. Yeah. I'm He's on the Jersey guy. Turnpike one day, coming back from Florida, yeah. and I see this big billboard. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> bro is such a uh, Jersey bro. thing. It's a. <laughs> I, See, I didn't think it was just a Jersey. It thing. is a real Jersey. I feel it, like it's an East Coast, like Northern East Coast. Thing. Well, because then you go, you go South Jersey, and bro becomes cuz. Kick cause. Oh. Cause. You go up north to like you know uh, over the uh, what's what's the bridge that connects? Um, you go over to Mario Cuomo. What do they call it? The the Tappan Zee. Tappan Zee. And all of a sudden, bro becomes cuisine. You know, like oh yeah, that's that's real. You're down in Brooklyn. It's yeah. Gouge. You know, you're out in Long Island. People just, you know, bopping around like chicken yeah. heads yelling, how you doing at each other? I feel like bro is a very common Jersey phrase because, you know, bro doesn't just mean you're bro. That's right. Right? You can elaborate. Bro is almost like a punctuation. Yeah. A reaction. You know, like someone someone is telling you, like, I'm, I'm not feeling well after the gym. You know, I'm getting lightheaded when I'm lifting, and you go, bro. Come on, bro. Uh, That's right. <laughs> Do I got something? Uh, That's it. Tell so, me so, so, it's a lifestyle. It is. Bro's a lifestyle. It is about family, mm-hmm. self empowerment. It's about community and like minded individuals. We are all bros. We are all on that same mindset. We want to keep healthy. We want to keep fit. We want to keep a sense of community. A lot of people after COVID, they lost. They lost family. They lost uh, friends who thought different. Whatever. We got to bring it back together. It's just bro, and that's where we just came up with it. Uh, it's been something I like. I said I've been saying for years. Uh, we just started a merch company. I just kind of became bro. I didn't know that that happened. My my name's not Nicole anymore. It's just I walk everywhere and it's bro. just bro. Bro. bro um, and then we talked about a recovery drink for athletes. There's not a lot of recovery drink that's ready made for collegiate and for youth athletes. Right. Okay, there's out. everything's pre. You got you got you got a prime. You have uh, uh, drinks that are uh, all pre-workout. Celsius. You know, there's nothing after that you can just shake up or ready-made just to drink that will put the nutrients back in your body. So that's what we're, that's our next step. Wow. You might see GoBro, a bar. GoBro. GoBro. GoBro, go. GoBro, go. GoBro, go. Go, go. So you kind of have like the Hulk Hogan thing going, like how he said brother, she's bro. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I guess. But I like the pink dot on it, don't you? Because a guy can wear it, a yeah. girl can wear it, anybody. Maybe we'll put an Italian flag for October. Oh, green! So the green B, the white yeah. R, the oh, red O. Oh, bravo! Yeah. I like that, bro. This bro. is excellent. Thanks. Thanks. This it really is to the gym tomorrow. You, know, you should wear it to the gym. It's it's obvious. We'll wear it when doing our push-ups, Greg. It's <laughs> obvious that <We're> still your, <laughs> your work ethic, you know, is inspiring. Your children. Your son I'm got trying. the keys to a country club at 15 years old. That's right. How are you now inspiring? Because you, you know, when you appear, like we, uh, Anthony was speaking about your appearances on The Real Housewives mm-hmm. of New Jersey. Mm-hmm. This is a show. Uh, 
you know, that Bravo brings to a lot of women uh, all over the country, all over the world. Mm -hmm. How are you inspiring women in today's landscape? You know, uh, there's a lot. Oh, of, that's easy. I, I, fit, to be fit. I love the body you're in. Work with the body you're in. Important. Work with the body that you're in. Listen. There's a lot of things happening right now. There's a lot of uh, 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 different ways to be thin, okay? Uh, 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 talking about the people who's taking supplements, who's taking uh, drugs to get there. And, and it works for some people. But there's going to be a time that you have to come off and you have to actually work at it. And it's not my appearance, even though this gets me clients, right. okay? It's how you feel inside. It's how it's how you how healthy you actually are inside. I was talking to Sal earlier, and we were talking about uh, uh, body weight, fat, uh, body fat, weight. Like weight doesn't matter. What matters is your body fat, and what matters even more is your skeletal muscle mass. That's how much muscle is around your bones. If I fall right now, hopefully I won't break anything. You know, look, knock on wood. I don't know. Is this what? Is this the fake wood? What in this? How about the? There's I didn't even thing. realize the we had the no the wood the paneling over there. How do you like the? Uh, I the, love the it. We all have that picture Jesus. of Jesus. We all have yeah. that one. But no, that's it. I won't fall and I won't break. That's what you actually have to look forward to. Listen, you're 28 years old. You're young right now. You know, you have a lot of uh, 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 your metabolism's quite quick, or you have a lot of testosterone. As you grow older, you lose it. Yeah. And, and, and the only thing that brings it is, is, a, is a good diet. It's a good diet. It's a right. healthy regime. Right. And it's working out. A, health, right, a, healthy, a healthy lifestyle in general. Yeah. And you encompass that in so many ways. You know, people talk about moderation. And, and I say, you know what? I'm sorry. It's, it's bullshit. I don't know if I could say that. It's oh, bullshit. You could say, say it's whatever bullshit. You, want. you can say whatever you want. It's a it, podcast. Fuck oh, yeah. bullshit. Oh, oh, look at that. Bro. <laughs> I Bro. got you. No, it's, it's not about moderation. You want to go out all weekend. Yeah. And you want to drink and you want to, you know, have the chicken parm and you want, okay, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to catch up. Listen, you want to indulge once a month, once every two months, you know, with discipline. something like that. It's discipline. Right. Listen, this is my business, so I have to look like this. You know, I, I got to look like this. Well, you also at fifty. You also, I mean, that's again, that's incredible. unbelievable. Oh, really. thanks, Ann. Still really calling bullshit. Unbelievable. Uh, I'm, but I'm going to show you my license. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know him nothing. Uh, I was never an 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 athlete. I was always an athletic. Uh, well, I was an athlete in high school. Not yes. a, real, a real athlete. Like I played, I played just high school walk-on football. But um, now that I've lost weight, I was so excited to speak to you because, like, now it's like I need to build muscle. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't even know where to start. How important do you think it is for someone like me to have someone walking you through? You know, because we don't want to end up like Meredith getting hurt at CrossFit. Sure. Uh, uh, Mayor, you got hurt. Shout She's out, fine. Shout She's out sure. Meredith took the ride, Meredith took the ride from, from Jersey. Jersey. Thanks, Meredith. Thanks. How important do you think it is for somebody to have guidance, like someone to guide them like yourself? Absolutely. Uh, listen, hire a trainer, hire a professional. Your health is worth any amount of money. I just bought a, a Louis Vuitton bag. Look how much I spent for that. Ming. Ming, you know. No, they never listen, full. How you do? No, listen. Really, your health is worth any amount. How much is your health worth to you? And that's exactly it. So hire a trainer. But you were saying something earlier about strength training. I want to. I want to reverse. Sure. Back. It is so important. Twenty five, twenty. You can never be too early, ladies. I, I, and I'm putting it out to the ladies. I don't know if you got a lot of women base out there. You do not get bulky. Let me repeat, you do not get bulky from weight training. If I didn't have a one zip on, I would show you underneath, but I do, okay? You don't get bulky from weight training, all right? 
you get bulky when you put more calorie intake in your body and you weight train. Right. So if I'm putting in more calories and I'm lifting this way, then I'm going to start to see a little bit more bulk. This is what I wanted to ask you. Again. I, so, so you were speaking about it has so many different methods for weight loss. Mm -hmm. And I've spoken about it before. I lost weight through gastric sleeve surgery. I had it in January. So now my caloric intake is down. Okay. And this is something new for me with mm -hmm. weight training. When I was in football, the reason why I was so big and bulky, yeah. built like a refrigerator, was because I was eating a lot yeah. and in the gym. Yeah. So even though I'm not at that same caloric intake, you're saying it's still possible to build a physique. Absolutely. Right. You have to make sure that you are lifting to put those type of calories in. Right. Okay. If you're not, there's days that I am just walking because I walk every day, mm -hmm. every day, usually outside. Which uh, is great. Because that's something new. It, being outside, taking that in, it's a whole new world for me, uh, which I love. Walking on treadmills is boring as hell. But you have to make sure that those days that you are not working out or not training, then you ease up a little bit. Right. You're easing up. Listen, carbs are not bad. They are not your enemy. They're necessary. They're necessary. Even They're pasta? Necessary. Well, listen, the good pasta that we get, the homemade, we're the going to good. The semolina. Okay, the, the dorm semolina or the, the darker, what did they talk about? How dark the pasta has to be. Right, you don't want yellow pasta. You don't want yellow pasta. It has to be darker. It has to be a, a shade of brown. I yeah. Very, very light tan or brown. But never yellow. What color is that in the in the Crayola box? What color? Sienna. Oh, burnt sienna. Uh. <laughs> wow. Burnt memory. sienna. That's a that yeah. memory unlocked. That is a that is burnt a file yeah. that's yeah. been pulled down. The Thirty six pack of Crayolas with the sharpener Wait, in it. Sh How do you know that? You're so young. That was such a thrill to get How the sharpener in the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, was such great. a thrill, you know. So so You're a clean, baby. Yes. clean carbohydrates. Yeah, clean. Your sweet potato. Right. Your sweet brown. Brown rice. That, would, that helped me a lot. Yeah. Brown basmati rice. I'm glad I asked you, Greg. I'm just your, your vegetables are also your carbohydrates. So we're going to fight. Can you saute them, though, or do they need to be No, cold? they can't. I mean, the, yes. You, you, the put, listen, you got a good olive oil. Don't, olive don't roast wish them a call on them. Roasted vegetables is the I'm biggest thing. I'm not eating boiled do. chicken here, yeah, bro. Right. I like that the roast. That was my question. Yeah, you're, I'm not eating boiled I chicken. I like the I'm roast. Roasted. little olive oil. Okay, I you grill. You got to it up. Season I grill it. all year round. That's great. So I will shovel a path to the grill. You're even outdoor grilling. Oh, yeah. Wow. I got yeah, the old grill with the gate. 40 bro. degrees out, giant coat on. Do you know the grill I'm talking about, Ian? Yeah. The grill in the in The, the big Weber. No, the with the grill in the ground. My house growing up, my okay. mother on Sundays would make enough chicken cutlets to last the whole week. Wait, sure, yeah. okay. Right, and then they'd either be in like tin foil yeah. or a Ziploc bag in the fridge. Yeah. And then we'd kind of just like come and take as well. Yeah, that's a new thing. It is a new That's one. a new thing. What do you like more, the hot cutlets or like the cold cutlet out of the fridge? I'll eat a cold cutlet right yeah, now. I'll a, eat cold a cold cutlet cold. out of the fridge. I will, yeah. I will take a cutlet out of the fridge, open the thing, and this is, I'm sure... You know, Anthony likes his ketchup, but I will open the thing with the half a lemon inside in the yeah. in the thing, and just a little lemon on little the thing. cutlet. Oh, that's it's beautiful! Like that. Beautiful, so good. It's like melanzana. It's like a, a little uh, 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 melanzana. My aunts, my mother, my Not grandmother. Melanzana, that's eggplant. Yeah, uh, melanese. Yeah, yeah, it's right, like right, a little melanese. Right. So, so growing up, we would go to the beach with. Chicken cutlets wrapped up in tin foil. Always. Five pound and pub of chicken. Something called that. Now, people from different parts of Italy, I don't know what they call it in Sicily, we call it pastiera, which is like the, the spaghetti baked with the eggs and cheese and everything. That's you don't okay. know about this? Good. Yeah, yeah. So you take like a. You take like with a the, regular... Wait, hold on. Is there is there uh, um, breadcrumbs on it? No. 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 Just it's pepper. It's like a frittata. It's like. It's like, it's a like it's like a, somewhere between a frittata and spaghetti cajun pep. Okay. Right? My so favorite. pepper, egg. Uh, uh, touch of cream in, mm -hmm. you know, with the uh, all mixed into a like a. And you had this dish. at a beach at the beach. Baked, Very right? dietetic. And cubed at up at the beach. At cubed the up. beach, chicken cutlets. So chicken cutlets for me, yeah, is like such a yeah. I'm home type That's meal. Right. So we we were discussing before. John just texted me. Mark just texted me. What do you want for dinner? I said cutlets. And and Nicole's going Monday night cutlets. That's what we do Monday yeah. nights for. 
it Sunday night was always our cutlet night. And okay. Since today's like a Sunday, I got to have them. You got to have them. Gianna makes great chicken She cutlet. does? Oh, yeah. I want to know what she fries them in. You got to check Christmas. that out. She fries them or she, she fries bakes them? them? No, she fries them. Bakes who, who bakes she their cutlet? I had a big cutlet once. We started baking horrendous. meatballs at some point growing up. We started baking on meatballs, which I got to be honest with you. I'm out of here. Let me let me let me let me convince you. Go ahead. Because and you know you you are about your health. So My cousin who's Italian attractive. puts them in draw. It puts them in the uh, um, sauce. Sauce and uh, cooks them like that. And cooks them like that. They were a little too fall apart for me in the sauce. They were a little too hard shelled in the in the oil. Okay. A little bit of olive oil a baking dish. You fry them up that you bake them that way. You bake them that way. And I think it makes for a great meatball because they're mm. just they're just hard enough to survive the sauce. I'm gonna tell you something. Hours. I only use pork and veal in my meatballs. You don't use I'm beef. I'm done. Well, that's where all done. the flavor is. The pork and the I'm meat done with the beef. Flavor. Yeah? I'm done with it. Pork and veal only. It's beautiful. You're done with the we beef. Meatloaf. It's beautiful. Uh, you know what? I Just that taste on it. It's so much softer. You do your nice bread soaked in milk. Okay? Yes. You know, uh, oh, right? day old that's bread. That's day old bread. bread. Veal's more lean, has a better fat content. You got to put breadcrumbs and the wet bread yeah. in you your meatballs. You want to know how much Greg knows about meat? Greg, hold your arm up. Show oh, I thought I was going to say something. <laughs> oh, wow, he's got all the different parts of the... Now, is that oh. because your your family's in a pork business, pork store? Pork uh, store? No, oh. I'm a uh, classically trained uh, chef. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. And he's, uh, a Somalian? A Somalian? Samoye is the line. Oh, sorry, bro. Samarian is the guy who helped <laughs> Jesus out. No, he's <laughs> Literally, It's great. We, 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 this is how the podcast... He has a crab, too. We, oh, go, a crab. we go right from the talking crab. about good diet and how to be healthy. To, <laughs> to you're, food. You're literally making... right A good meatball is what parts bread, what parts meat. The cutlet thing made me okay. think of a memory. Right. When I was a kid and like I went to school, I would take the leftover cutlets to like lunch, and the brown paper bag would be filled with grease. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I was no, so but my, my was in the whole classroom smells animal. like olive oil and breadcrumbs. Yeah. My sister used to get made fun of for bringing Nutella sandwiches to school. See, I, we weren't big Nutella growing up. And listen, the it's Nutella a, a that you thing. buy here, yeah. Exactly, it's a newer thing. The Nutella that you you got to make sure it's the real one in the it's glass. Horrible. It's glass. Horrible. In the it's glass. It's all palm seed okay? oil. Right. The American Nutella is all palm seed oil. Uh, it's horrible. You're so right, Greg. It, this was a newer thing. My mm. sis, we went to Italy. We saw my cousins. They were eating Nutella sandwiches. My sister had to have them. Yeah. But the kid, the lunch monitor, sent my sister to the principal's office because she was eating a chocolate sandwich. No way. They could not understand at the time. What a it's sin. Like, it's, it's like ten percent cocoa. Like what a line? sin. Is that against school rules? He did chocolate How sandwich? many kids go to school without lunch? You know, a chocolate sandwich. That's what I mean, yeah. I, I'd be pretty happy oh, about yeah. that. Oh, yeah, exactly. Only like 10% But cocoa. there was always, there was always, uh, uh, I feel like even when I was growing up, there was a lack of understanding for our culture and the fact that it's so centered around food. It is. So it's only right that you would raise your Greek family on Italian food. That's what I'm trying to say is, is if we try to cook as healthy as possible, to bring as much of these. It's it's a little hard because we do not um, have the same uh, 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 restrictions. We have more restrictions with our food than they do in Italy. Look, no one gets bloated from the pasta there. Right. We all get bloated here. I sniff a cracker and I'm gone. Again, we have to try to, yeah, we have to, try to get it from the, the certain places to keep that type. Now it's hard. But that's what you're talking about is these, you know, that that's part. We of have to deal clean. with our pesticides, right. the stuff and the food here. I We have to. So that's why even more so we have to try to keep ourselves healthy, uh, you know, because of we don't get the best of the best. Look at Italy just passed. No. Uh, what did GMOs. They no GMOs. GMOs, red dye, whatever, yellow, everything. The U.S. Gone. is literally you can't gone. Get Skittles in Italy. What does that nope. tell you about Skittles? Okay. The U.S. is literally just preserving it. Skittles in Italy? There are certain things here that are illegal in other countries. I know. Yeah. You know that. That's what Nicole is saying. Is that we're not we're not treated to the great stuff that those things are made of. When you say like, you mean you could eat pasta and still have a healthy lifestyle? Yeah. If you're eating the right type of pasta, yes. If you're, you know, absolutely. If if you're doing, and the, again, it's right. portion control. We have this obsession with tremendous portions for show. It's part of the. I, I think it was life. that, and I think it was because we lived through the depression, and nobody had 
uh, 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 you know, the, 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 the portion, the, the food. It's like my family doesn't make polenta. I love polenta. It's peasant food. Because it's peasant food. I love food. polenta. Right. Okay, we don't make it. I love polenta, too. Well, the US and is- now you buy it for what? What do you get? What do they oh, want to charge it, for? They serve it at fancy restaurants. Yeah. $35. They dollars. put cornmeal on a plate. And cornmeal and short rib. Cornmeal and short rib, $45. Right. Cornmeal $35 with olive oil in the middle, know. you know? Do you believe that? My mother is very old school. Mm-hmm. And I'm very, you know, especially once once things happened on America's Got Talent, I wanted to take my yeah. mother to great restaurants. We were always eating this and that. And my mother would go, you believe this? You take me to a place, $40 for chicken parmesan. Chicken parmesan yeah. is is everyday food. Yeah. It's nothing special. Polenta, $28. Same thing. All the same thing. It's just all everyday food. Yeah. When we, you're right. When we, when we came here, when we made things of ourselves, we we developed this sense of abundance. Abundance, abund- abundance. Abundance. Right. Always to have more at the table. How much can I feed or how cheap? Well, yeah. it, it's we. If we can have it, we will have it. Yeah. And it's the same idea that that's gone on in this country. Is we need to have the biggest size that's because it. we can. So you're very holistic. You're very natural. I try, yeah. You know, and, and you're way into try. You know, like one of the things I was talking about in January. I, 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 ha- I was getting the surgery, and of course, you know, my old school mother calls me mm. two weeks before the surgery. She is crying hysterically. Yeah. She is begging me not to, to do it to go on Ozempic. She's mm-hmm. and there's nothing mm-hmm. wrong. With these, with these drugs. No, if it's if it's licensed, if it's it's if it's monitored. Right. At some point, you do have to come off of them. That's right. It was two weeks before my surgery. I was maybe a weekend away from my my pre-op blood work, mm-hmm. and my mother's begging me to go on diabetes medication, and I'm telling her no. I don't want to. I'm already on blood pressure medication. Mm. And are you still on it now? Not anymore. See. Two weeks before surgery. But do you I, see what that means? Yeah. Two weeks before surgery, I got blood work and came to find out that for the first time in my life, I was type 2 diabetic. My A1C was over 9. Yeah. And I had to go on diabetes medication. I had to prick my finger. and I had to mm-hmm. test. And I said, mm-hmm. I never want to be on medication ever again. Great. You know, that part of the allure of a healthy lifestyle is that, is freedom from things yeah. like that. And that's something that you've... Uh, proven an example of here. There's so many things that have been done years ago, decades ago, that can be brought back again. It works. It's clinically proven to work. Well, Nicole, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what's left to say. You I don't know. This was great. We should just go to dinner. You've ra- we we should. should wrap it up and go to dinner. I was going to say, ra- like when you said about holistic therapy, holistic yeah. therapy, like a chicken parm can fix my problems. Right now it could because your stomach's growling. <laughs> I hear it over here. No. Call it Saran. And then Nicole, so- Nicole Greco Pipas. She is not a reality star. She is a reality uh, uh, persona. Persona. That's right. But she's more than that. She is a she is a boss. She is superwoman. She is uh, a healer for both mind and body. Oh uh, that's so lovely. She is a philanthropist. Really Super she bro. Is an entrepreneur. Mom and wife. Super bro. Get involved with bro. Uh, friends. You're gonna uh, get it, bro. Your, your your website for your charity is friends. Friends of the well. Friends of the well. dot com. For Anthony Sharada. For Greg Heinrich, I'd like to thank each and every one of you, and especially you, Nicole. Thank, thank you. you so thank much you so for much. breaking bread with us. Thank you so much. I love it. Mwah. Mwah. Breaking bread. Ciao.